Prima Amalu, uh, who starts obviously as Prima Mutisu in the film, um, is uh, like Bennett, uh, an immigrant to America. And that's really how they first bond. Um, they meet through their faith in church and uh, Prima is from Kenya and Bennett's from Nigeria and he's very much more settled in the culture than she is. She's somewhat of a newcomer. So he sort of helps her sort of learn the ropes about becoming American. And um, it's a relatively unconventional love story. You know, it starts off as a sort of more of an arrangement and um, and, and then, you know, they fall in love. And um, really, I sort of see Prima, you know, she's... She's quietly spoken, she sort of stays in the background, but she's very much um, the emotional and moral compass for Bennett in the story. And she helps give him the courage to sort of continue in this quest once he starts making these discoveries about CTE and not necessarily getting the most positive responses from everyone. Um, you know, she's really the one that uh, inspires him to st stay the course and really uh, reminds him that it's his destiny, it, you know, to, when you know the truth, you have to speak it. And um, and so for me, you know, that, that relationship and that love story within the film is, is, is a beautiful one. The real Bennett Amalu is, uh, you know, you spend one minute in his company and you're smiling and you're leaning forward. You know, he's so charismatic. And I think even though he is a scientist, I think there is a general misconception of scientists being boring, dry, sort of quiet people. And, and you know, he's um, anything but that. You know, he has all of this knowledge. He is so, uh, as you said, well-educated and obviously incredibly a talented person. But he's also... Um, it's his heart, I think, that people really respond to. He is so passionate about being an American and what that means to him coming from Nigeria and how long it's taken for him to feel accepted as an American and, and the best of American values. And I think that that's what he's so proud of about the film as well, is that um, it really represents that, you know, that aspiration, that, that aspirational um, truth-telling quality where you have the opportunity to be the fullest version of yourself. Concussion is uh, a very powerful film and I think a very inspiring and uplifting film. Um, it's about uh, Bennett Amalu, who is one of the first sort of brain pathologists to discover CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, uh, which um, a lot of uh, players of American football uh, were, were finding that they were suffering from. And um, it's really his story of how he, he discovers this um, disease and, and brings it to light and bring it, bringing the truth to light. So, um, yeah, for me, that's that's really what I found really enjoyable about the film is that it's it's sort of has that David and Goliath kind of quality where he in, inadvertently takes on um, the big corporation and um, is able to continue to to stick to his guns and um, and and tell people the truth about football and and you know hopefully I think um, in terms of American football it will have an impact in terms of adjusting how people view the culture of football and maybe just understanding a little bit more about the potential risks involved. It's really one man against the system, which I kind of really relate to. And I think a lot of people do relate to that quality. I think, you know, you always sort of... Um, want to support the underdog and I think that you know this story definitely shows shows Bennett triumphing in that way. It was interesting for me because I, you know, beyond reading the script, as I said about Prima before, she's a little, she was a little more reticent to be involved in the, in the process. I think that she definitely saw that this was Bennett's film, and and I got to uh, speak to her and I heard recordings of her accent, but I didn't meet her before we started filming, um, more out of respect really because she 
wasn't so keen to be involved and I think wanted to, you know, take a back seat and protect the family and, and the children and and not be um, as big a part of it as, as Bennett. But they did visit the set and I have met her during the filming process and since. And um, it's just been fascinating to see, you know, their dynamic and just how she's so sort of there for him and so there for the children. And um, it, was, it was a magical moment when they were on set. And then they came to the premiere, of course, in LA. So, um, so that was a really special. Yeah, she is very family centric and very I exactly that. I mean, Prima is incredibly grounded, and I think that that's also part of the reason why, as I say, Bennett is able to kind of go on this this massive journey because he knows that uh, she's sort of the, the grounded touchstone that he can return to, and and sort of keeps his feet on the ground. <laughs> There's definitely a different approach. I mean, it's it's a little bit more responsibility, I think, when you know you're playing somebody that really exists. It can be a little terrifying because obviously you don't want to ruin their life or ruin a depiction of their life. And, and you're never going to, you know, do it perfectly. It's not a documentary, you know, and, and um, they've lived that experience. So there, there's a huge respect, I think, that comes into it. I mean, luckily working with um, Peter Landersman, the writer-director, you know, he'd spent so much time with them and the, the script was so beautifully crafted that I felt confident just, you know, working with Peter and 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 the material that we had. But yeah, you do you do care what they think because, you know, a movie's one thing and a movie opens and this film comes out on Christmas Day or wherever else in the rest of the world. But um, for them, you know, I, I can take off Prima and play another character, but Prima's still Prima. And, 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 and so you do feel like you have to do them justice, but also stay respectful.